Hi, this is Mrs. Elston, and this is a tutorial to help you log into your child's Google account or to help your child log into their Google Classroom from home. Step one is to log out of any existing Google accounts that you may be in, your Gmail, uh, your work account associated with Google, whatever. You'll need to click Sign Out. For your child to log in, they need to go to classroom.google.com. This is not a standard Google account. The email address that you're using does not have an ability to send email nor to receive email. It's simply a login account. You'll probably see your own Gmail account right here. Click on that and then click use another account. To log in, the username will be your child's first and last initial followed by six numbers at ebrschools.org. Capitalize the first letter of your child's password. The last two numbers, 03 would be third grade, 04 will be fourth grade, 05 will be fifth grade, and each year they'll keep the same login, just changing the last number. Well, I guess by 12th grade, the last two numbers. At this point, you should see all of the classes in which your child is enrolled. If it's asking you for a code, you need to go back and log out of your own Google account. Only students will receive the code to join. Parents are welcome to request an invitation to see a weekly summary, but parents do not actually join the Google Classroom, only students. If you'd like to take a look around, you'll find materials. Materials are things that will not be in your child's social studies or science notebooks, but it's materials that they have access to to study online. You'll also see assignments. Assignments are things that need to be turned in. You'll see tests. In the fifth grade social studies and science classroom, we rely heavily on Google Classroom as a place to store materials. I hope that this has been helpful. If you have questions, please feel free, mail, free to email me at slston at ebrschools.org. Thanks.